Hello there, good evening ladies and germs, Elton McFall here, uh, aka Retro Old School. Uh, of course, maybe it's morning for you, maybe it's afternoon, it doesn't really matter what the hell time of the day it is, as long as you're watching this. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I'm just off the island of Montreal, uh, in, here in Laval, the city of Laval, the town of Laval, which is part, of course, of the greater Montreal area, and I figured, well, you know, Friday night, usually I... Uh, Usually I go to the car show here in Laval and I took my chances knowing that there was going to be some rain coming in about two or three hours and uh, you know I figured well we'll go to the site see how it looks but yeah it looks like it's going to fucking start pissing uh, soon enough and I uh, figured uh, well might as well do a walking video and uh, since uh, I'm poor lately and I'm a cheapskate I figured uh, I hope everything you hear with that wind there you know, like that green yeah very unusual to see a modern car with that kind of green. I like that. High five! Anyway, so this is De La Concorde. Boulevard. Boulevard De La Concorde. Right, and that goes all the way to the eastern part of the city. And that's scrap. Nova, scrap. Nova Scrap. Anyway, so this is a good walk up until uh, I'm going to go all the way to uh, Rue Cassier. And I'm going down this way for two reasons. Number one, I want to walk with the wind, so you hear everything I say. And uh, also, um, I'm going to walk... Uh, there's the train line over there. I don't know if I mentioned it. The uh, commuter train line, also CP occasionally. And uh, look at that. Two, two, two Grand Cherokees in a driveway. Huh. Anyway, so uh, yeah, basically I'm going to go to level crossing. Hopefully it doesn't piss rain at that point, because I'm taking a chance here, you know, but whatever. Hey, better than winter. Now, that are fucking Grand Cherokee. This guy must be a Chrysler dealer or something. He's worked for Chrysler. Chrysler. Oh, look, a Prelude. I love those old Preludes. I saw one yesterday. White. Modified. Popular car to modify. Yeah. Whoa, check that out. Whoa, daddy, that's some crazy shit. That's well done. I don't ever think I've ever seen a Jeep with airbrushing on it. That's pretty cool. Of course, that's one of the reasons why I'm walking down here is because, you know, these, these old areas, these old suburban areas, who knows what kind of oldies might be parked over here. Maybe I'd see something that would make up for uh, that car show. That's not going to happen. There's that guy who was fucking standing near me uh, before on De La Concorde up there. And uh, I don't like walking behind people like that. Keep your distance, buddy. Maybe I'll cross the street. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll see an oldie that'll make me want to cross the street. Is that another fucking prelude? Are you kidding me? I think it is. It's another fucking prelude. Where am I? In the Twilight Zone? 200 preludes from the 90s, from the wait, 90s or late 90s, early 2000s, something like that. Same generation. God damn, that is fucking weird. Just like almost across the street from each other. A lot of white cars around here. Why is that? I don't know. It's amazing how white popular has become. It's like when my mom bought a Toyota Camry brand new in uh, 1989. Whoa, look at that Beetle. That's cool. Cool car, cool color, different, kind of old school. Anyway, she bought a fucking uh, Camry brand new. It was at 89, you know. Man, there's a lot of fucking noise around here. Holy shit. I'm trying to fucking uh, narrate here. I'm trying to... Uh, man, look at... Anyway, uh, the car was white. It was like probably the most popular color, I think, for that car and a lot of cars for that matter. Oh, look at that house. Cool. See that? Laval Street in Laval. That was another reason why I figured, why not make this video? You know, it's just kind of funny. Laval. Laval Street in Laval. You know what I mean? It's not like fucking Montreal Road in Cornwall. You know what I'm saying? I'm not making that up. That's like the main drag there. It's Montreal Road. Yeah. Uh, U-Haul. I remember when they had, used to have some old trucks, this company. All the fucking trucks they had were old. They didn't have anything modern. You know? Oh, boy. How many times have I seen people back up a trailer and they had to just do it over and do it over and do it over and do it over? It's not that easy. Imagine a 53-foot uh, truck trailer. Huh. Yeah, well, you know, that's all the more reason why I have respect for truck drivers. Ones with class, of course. I mean, you know, like a lot of people don't have class. I'm sorry, I'm rambling on. You know, that's what happens when you've had three coffees and, uh, and a nice cappuccino. Actually, come to think of it, fuck, wait a minute. Did I fuck up? Because usually I have four or five coffees. Did I? Oh, man, I'm an idiot. Fuck, shit, I fucked up. I had four coffees and a nice cappuccino. Oh, damn it. 
hope I can sleep. Look at this. Look at all these fucking signs. You think there's enough of them for a residential neighborhood? No turning right. Six to nine. Except buses and taxis. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Yeah. Well, it looks like the rain's holding up. I, uh... I don't know, I seem to have Wi-Fi in a lot of the places, I guess, near when I mean, you're near certain places like Timmy's and all that, and, uh, so, uh, I was able to check the radar there, the AccuWeather radar, which, by the way, if you're interested in meteorology like me, is a good place to check the radar for, you know, a system, storm cells, and all that stuff. However, if you look at the Environment Canada radar, it's not the same thing. I don't know, what is it about every fucking pickup truck I see around here is black? Unbelievable. You know, I don't think I've ever walked down here before. Look at this. Here's a flex. What kind of a fucking stupid name is that? The thing looks like a, be a bread box. It looks like the last flexible vehicle there could ever be. But well, anyway, that's me. Now we're at, uh, I don't remember the name of the street. It's, uh, On Vargas de Soda. It's, uh, oh my god, that woman's got way too much perfume on. Holy shit. I'm gonna tell you in a moment here. You see, the rain's coming, so maybe I should boot it a little more, eh? D'Argenteuil. Reminds me of my landlord, is my friend too. His last name is Montreuil. Sounds very comfortable. Ah, sounds very <laughs> I'm thinking about the temperature, it's very comfortable right now. Nice summer breeze. No, it's. Uh... Yeah, his name is spelled the same way M O E M O N T R U E I L. I had to close my eyes to think about that one. I don't remember. Yeah, this is the street, I think. If I remember right, one of the reasons why I wanted to go, go down here is I've seen a couple of things, but I saw... I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's near here. There's a fucking... Um, oh, man. There's a Ford Econoline 68 to 73 about. Fucking totally stock. Powder blue. Really neat. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going down here, actually, because look at this. I made a video of this here. Shit, and now you're getting it. You're going to see it. Well, I'm going to put the video first of that. I think tomorrow, actually. I forgot about that. Tonis. Yeah, I made a video about this uh, a few weeks ago, actually, when I was on the Schwinn. I didn't feel like uh, taking the bike on the metro yet, so I biked all the way from uh, Cafu Lavelle to fucking uh, the Cartier Metro. So I'm going to put that video, I think, tomorrow now that I look at this here. Look at these oldies, eh? Anyway, who's to say you would see even both videos, come to think of it? There's an F8, uh, F600, F800. 80s probably, early 90s. That looks like an ex-Hydro Quebec Econoline, 1980s or up until 91. And these fucking things, you can't kill them, eh, unless they're all rusted out. This one's really rusty though, but you know what? It looks like it would fire right up. You know? I mean, there are trucks out west, they're still in that condition, they're still working. Of course, that's if you're able to find the parts, you know? Yeah, Ford uh, F800 70s. Anyway. There's a nice old uh, Intrepid. I like these cars. They get a bad rap, unfortunately, and they're not exactly, uh, not exactly high-quality vehicles. I'm not sure this is the fucking tr street I was talking about, actually, that has that Ford Econoline. I'm not sure about that. Now, now I want to get closer here. I want to see what it is here at this garage. That's a pretty cool blazer, don't we? Okay, I know, I know, it's flat black. I'm always complaining about flat black, but there is exceptions to the rules, you know? Audis, fuck. Always with the Audis. Man, I'm tired of fucking seeing so many of these fucking cars downtown. It's unbelievable. Downtown Montreal, it's like... There's so many Audis. There's enough of them to make your fucking head spin if you're a car enthusiast. So if you love Audis, come to Montreal. You might even be lucky to see an R8, actually. The R8 was the coolest Audi ever made. No, hands down. Hey, look at this. Volkswagen, Honda, Mazda. That's the perfect kind of garage to specialize in these cars because there's fucking thousands and thousands of these cars uh you know just just in quebec alone i mean it's just they've always you know montreal is one of those places they've always been more minded towards european cars japanese cars especially obviously since after the oil crisis but even before that yeah i'm just rambling on jesus murphy i fuck it i thought i had three cups of coffee and I, I didn't realize, I think, I, yeah, I had four, man, I'm not going to bed early tonight, I made a boo-boo. I know what the worst part about it is, I'm so hooked to, to not just caffeine, but fucking uh, uh, ice cappuccinos and coffee. It's all got sugar, to, there's nothing healthy about it, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I like that. It's weird, it's like a, 
fucking camouflage building or something. Oh, you know what? That Econoline. I, wow, is that real? I like the neat. Yeah, I think that Econoline was down here, but I think I'll save that for another time. So, see the fucking rain's coming too. You see, it's coming from there, so I got a fucking Audis. What's with the fuck? What's with these fucking cars, man? What's the big deal? You know what? I'll tell you what I think it is. Okay, I gotta tell you what it is. You know what it is? A, it's European. B, it's entry level luxury. Okay, and C. It's a hipster thing, for Christ's sake. That's what I think. Even more than a Volvo 240. Anyway, whatever. What's that there? Is that old? Nope. There's a typical old apartment, eh? I think it's an apartment building. It must, must be. You're going to tell me that's a house? Oh, what the hell is this over here? Oh. Well, yeah, I dream of catching a... A CP train on that train line because that that train that train line goes to Saint Jerome, but I think it all it also splits off into the the uh, as a CP line uh, to go to uh, Trois Rivières. That's nice, eh? Whoops, sorry about that. Jesus Christ, how long have I been zoomed in like that? That's not good. Look at this fucking shit. Uh, yeah, I can see why they put that here. Of course, man. Look at this street, man. It just goes straight down. People must floor that fucking thing like crazy. Watch your speed. Votre vitesse, which means your speed. That's your French lesson for today. Votre vitesse is your speed. Hey, that's fucking cool. That's very 50s. Not only that, that actually looks like a, a chalet you would see. Uh, a chalet is French for cottage. Man, look at some of these homes. Look how old this one is. This is like definitely like pre-1940s before air conditioning was invented. That's really neat. And see, like when I was here three weeks ago, I just flew down the street on my bike. So when you're flying down on a bike or you're in a car, you don't get to see all this stuff, you know? A nice uh, uh, glance, you know? Slowly, you know, noticing things. Like, for example, that old house with the uh, country western look to it, where with the, the beams. You don't see that too often. You see that only once in a while. It reminds me when I was younger, uh, I had a friend there. He was hard, part Italian, part Irish, and... Uh, yeah, you know, average average suburban home built in the 70s in Pierrefonds in West Island near Montreal. and uh, But he had these um, that fence in the front, you know, like it was like logs kind of thing. It looked like something cowboy, country western, you know. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. The, the, the You know, it's nothing uh, riveting, but look at that. Eh? Mazda 3 with a terrible turning radius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that Toyota 4Runner. I like those. Uh, I like them. All right, so now we are at... Uh, is it Cartier? I think it's... What is it? Is it Soria? No, it's Cartier, yeah. Cartier. Friday evening, it's muggy, it's hot. Cartier West. Happened to be near a police station that's uh, east of here. Yeah, which is down that way. Look at that mural. Oh, les mini trésors. That's a daycare, by the way. There's the overpass for the train line. I'm thinking I should go there or should I? Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to continue straight, actually. There for you Nova Scrap lovers. I got to admit, though, I took one yesterday on the 203 route in Dorval and it was air conditioned. I got to admit, you know, it's nice. It's nice. It better be fucking air conditioned considering they cost a million dollars each. A million dollars! For crying out loud. Alright, let's keep floating along here. Mazda 6 uh, station wagon. And uh, keep going here. Oh, yeah, did I mention that was a daycare? Yeah, mini trésor means miniature treasures. And you know what's even more weird? This looks like it could have been a garage in the old days. Look at that opening. What's that all about? That's really, you know, when something like that is really old, usually when you see that. I'm going to go back on this side. So what I'm going to do is when I get to the railroad crossing, I stay there a few minutes, take a break. And then I'm going to cross the bridge. And then I'm going to go back into Montreal and take the 69 Arctic Scrap, probably. Hopefully it won't be raining by then. And, uh, yeah, go back to the metro. There you go. 
Can you dig it? 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 Can you dig it, baby? I can dig it, dig it, dig it. She can dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Oh, let's dig it. Look at that. There's an advertising for us a daycare. It's kind of weird because it's at a house. It's like something you're seeing, like Ganawagi or something. I don't know. That's not old. Wow. There's a Hummer. I don't hate these Hummer H2s. I just much more prefer the H1 Hummer, the first generation one, which was bigger. This is almost like kind of like a shrunken down version, you know? Yeah. I hope I'm not walking too fast. Whoa, what's that? Oh yeah, that's one of those fancy schmancy new Volvos. Fucking thing is big, man. It's a big car. Christ, I think that's the biggest Volvo they've ever made. Look at that, eh? Beautiful color, beautiful blue. There's an old Cherokee, Grand Cherokee there, uh, working, probably doing moving jobs since, what are we today, the uh, 29th. Oh, 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 I heard that train, commuter train. Yeah, commuter train just went by there. And uh, that's a decent uh, Grand Cherokee there, eh? Decent Dodge Ram, decent uh, Pathfinder. And a Porsche Cayenne with racing stripes. Well, I guess so. I mean, uh, oh, look at this. Porsche Cayenne got a V8 in it, so why not? You know what I'm saying? Whew, boy, there ain't much breeze around here, though. Where I was earlier, I was, I guess, further up the hill, and it was just a nice breeze and summer breeze. Actually, really breezy, I should say. Rather, look at this one here. It's got a fucking stripe that's black, flat black. Flat black. Weird. Anyway, we're getting closer, uh, oh, shit, getting closer to the rain, too. Here. Oh, fuck. Yesterday, last night, once again, Environment Canada blew it. They said severe thunderstorm warning. There was no severe thunderstorm where I was. Maybe there was a miniature cell somewhere else that hit hard, but uh, I don't know. I mean, if it was really severe, you would have uh, heard about some fucking straight line winds and damaged uh, fucking glass and broken glass and, gla and, and, and tree branches falling and lots of lightning and thunder. And you get my idea. Why am I God, fucking rambling on? Why did I have that ice cappuccino? I'm telling you, Stim Hortons. I'm, con I'm fucking convinced, like my friend used to call them, Jim Thorntons. They put fucking drug or drugs in those coffee. And their products, especially their drink products, so that you get addicted to them. No? Think about it. Any oldies down here? Let's have a look here and see. Not that I caught the name of the street, though. It is... Oh, fuck. There it is. Laurier and Laval. Right. And a bike path. There's the Econoline. Holy shit, there it is. It's right there. Oh, man, she's a beauty. But you know what? I can't film it because it's on somebody's property. I think even from here I can tell that I've seen that fence before. Well, anyway, there you go. You see it. You see it, now you see it, now you don't. There you go. Bing, bang, boom. You know? Just like that. Say come so, though. Oof, oh man, that thing's been driven hard. Holy shit, I can't imagine mileage on that thing. It's in such a rough shape. Same thing with this hoopty. As you Americans call rough cars that are fucking shit boxes there. Drivers, a hoopty. Look how weird this is, fuck. This looks like it's, it should be in a completely different neighborhood, that car in that building, you know? Anyway. It's kind of an odd street, I guess. You know, most of these car homes and cars are blue collar type folks, you know? Or lower income, poor income, like me, whatever. And uh, then you got a home like that there. Well, you know, Laval, uh, not changing at all like Montreal, but still they're building a shitload of those condos there, those huge apartment buildings. Uh, you know, huge, huge complica complexes near uh, near fucking Montmorency Metro Station, which is an A, ideal site for that. B, you're next to fucking Highway 15. And on top of that, you go to fucking shopping centers from uh, Cafe Laval. You know, how's that for a fucking money in the bank? Eh? And I do not mean money in the under the mattress. God, this is fucking hot, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I like these charming old houses, don't I? Just like in any city, town. You know, again, these old areas and... That building I showed before with that Acura there. I mean, there's no fucking charm with it. Everything's black. What's an obsession with people, everybody fucking today, with everything black and gray and gray and black? I don't get it, okay? I don't get it. I don't get it. 
I said it before and I'll say it again. When I see an antique car, okay, an antique car, especially American, and it's fucking uh, silver or something, and it's the original color or black. Now that, that's an exception to the rule again. But then again, it's vintage. It's vintage. Oh, I see an antique coming here, maybe. Or not an antique, but that's an old car. There's a Buick Park Avenue. They're not common around here. This is like a 99 to, uh, I don't fucking know, whatever. There it is right there, coming to the end of our walk. It's a nice way to end. It looks in pretty good shape, actually, eh? Oh, no, it's fucking rusted out. It's a pourri. Look at the fucking whole bottom of the door. That's fucking gonna go to the scrapyard. It probably doesn't even run anymore, fuck. Yeah, it's too bad. GM made a nice looking car, but it was, I'm sure it was a piece of fucking junk, probably. It's hard to believe the Century was a better car. The one that looks similar to that, but uh, downsized, you know? Well, that's it, guys. We have come to the end of La Rue Laval. I'm trying to remember what the name of the street is here, where the level crossing is, where I missed a train. Uh, hey, that's pretty cool, though, eh? It's a nice view. I might do that as a thumbnail. Yeah, Laval et... Uh, what is it? Avenue? What? Quoi? Qu'est-ce que ça dit, de quoi est Boulevard des Prairies. I don't know. I don't understand how you can call a fucking two-lane blacktop a boulevard, but anyway. So I hope you guys liked it, and uh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Hmm. So I hope you liked it, and uh, take it easy, yada yada, and uh, please rate, subscribe, and comment. Bye. Look at all that greenery, eh? Bye-bye.